Hello, and welcome to a NetApp Cloud video for NetApp Cloud ONTAP and OnCommand Cloud Manager. In this video, we'll show you how you can use Cloud Manager to launch your Cloud ONTAP systems. I've already accessed my Cloud Manager system, so now let's go launch a new Cloud ONTAP system. Simply click on Add an Environment. I see I can either create some new systems or discover some existing ones. I want to create a new Cloud ONTAP system. I'll give it a name and a description. I'll identify where it is I'd like to deploy that new system. I'll pick Frankfurt. I'll pick this virtual private cloud. And I'll pick a different subnet. I can choose an existing security group, or I can allow Cloud Manager to create one for me. I'll just let it create one for me. And confirm that I have connectivity between my Cloud Manager system and the VPC where I'm deploying Cloud on top. Here's where I pick my size of system, either an Explorer for the smaller system, standard, or if I have my own license, let's go and deploy a standard an instance type. Let me go ahead and select an R3X large. Continue. And again, since we're deploying a new Cloud on tap system, we can automatically register it for support if we already have a NetApp support ID. If we don't, we can click here and follow the instructions and provide the information to gain one. Let's go ahead and continue without that ID for now. Here's where I need to provide some information for deploying my new Cloud on tap system. I need to provide a password for the admin user. I can see that a NetApp support instance has already been deployed in my account. And if I'd like to use Amazon's encryption at rest for my data volumes, I do. And here I can create a volume. The current wizard for Cloud Manager allows you to create an NFS volume. If you'd like to create a, a SIFS or iSCSI volume, that's where we'd use something like System Manager or Workflow Automation. Give it a size. Identify if this mount will be made available to all of the EC2 instances in the subnet or a specific machine within that subnet. I'm going to go ahead and select all. And my usage profile for my storage efficiencies, either highest of performance where no storage efficiencies are enabled, performance with efficiency, where I have thin provisioning and deduplication, and most efficient, where I have thin provisioning, deduplication, and compression. I can also select my snapshot policy, the default policy, or if I add another snapshot policy at a later time, that will be made available here. I'll still select the default and continue. Here I have my review pane, where I can see my Cloud ONTAP system information. I can also see my volume information if I've elected to create one. I also have a couple of confirmation pieces. Uh, I understand that in order to activate support, I must register my Cloud on tap system, and I can find more information. And I also have to confirm that I know Cloud Manager will start deploying Amazon resources in my account. I can click on more information to find out exactly which resources are going to be deployed. I'll accept that one as well, and now click on Go. And that's all there is to it. My new Cloud on tap system is being deployed in my account. That's all we wanted to show you for this video. We hope you found it helpful and have a great day.